Hi, hello, Yag. How are you and how do you feel after this game against KC? Hello, uh, I feel pretty good because we managed to win this game, even though we played pretty bad early game. And I think they played very good early game. And yeah, I'm very happy that we managed to come back because it shows that we improved on our mid and late game. And yeah, I'm happy we did that. You were really behind uh, during the early game. Uh, we feel like a, a zero six uh, for you, but you came back. What happened and how did you manage to do that? I think, yeah, after we went 0-6, we knew we shouldn't fight. So we told each other, let's just chill, let's farm, let's smaller get the stacks. And then when we see a moment, we go for it. And we saw the moment on mid lane when they went up too far. BB went for a good uh, like flank, me too. And then we just engaged on them, we kill them all. And then I think we got match as well. And then we're just back in the game. Did KC made some mistake or were you just better? I would say, I guess... I think both. I think we played pretty good, but they also made a bit of mistakes because they could play probably slower, but I think it's just hard for them versus Smolder because Smolder will just ult the mid lane and they can never get the tower, so it's just hard for them to do anything. And yeah, then we got a good flank, which I think is good from us, and yeah. Yeah, like the last team fight with uh, the combo with the two ults was like kind of destroying, <laughs> so pretty huge. Yeah. Uh, we, we were talking about Smolder, yeah, it's already the 24th Pentacle on Smolder, and the champion like went out like two uh, two months ago, something like that, so it's pretty yeah. huge. What do you think about this champ? I think this champ is just very, very OP right now. I think he really needs some nerfs. He's like... It's like the same as like Seri when she was released, very OP, and yeah, they for sure need to like nerf the champion because I don't think it's fun to play against it. I don't think it's fun to watch it as well. It's just, it's just annoying. If this champion is that annoying, uh, how do you explain that some teams uh, still let it open and do not ban the, ban it? Yeah, uh, that confuses me a bit as well because I would say I guess maybe they have like some strats. Like we played against it too. We played a Kogma, and I think that was a strat that we were very mm -hmm. confident in, but. Maybe they did the same with their, like, whatever comp they played, but maybe they just misplayed or something like that. Maybe they were better in scrims and they won against Smolder. But yeah, I think the champ is just way too strong right now. You are now in 3-0, uh, so that's uh, a pretty good start, uh, a great first week. Um, does it look like that G2 is going to be on top again, this split? I would say so. I think compared to the last spring split, we actually lost. We got fourth place and... I think none of us want that to happen again, so especially me. So I really want to try out this, this spring split and make sure that we win both of them. And then, yeah, I want to win all the splits, you know. So I really want to perform good this one and make sure that we win it. You you still made a pretty good performance last split. Uh, do you think uh, that you, the break that you had uh, allowed you to uh, improve on the specific things that you needed to work on, that you had enough time to work on this? Yeah, I think we had a, I guess we had like a little, the, like a longer break than the other teams because we just played the finals then we went for like a break for one or two weeks and mm -hmm. during that time they were scrimming so when we got back to scrimming we actually didn't play so good and yeah I mean we lost to some teams and after that we realized that we need to get back into it because we were very rusty we didn't play so good so during the break I think we we didn't talk so much about league we just looked at a lot of games like from SEK, LPL and then we started playing like more and more and like uh, during the last uh, days, like some days ago, the last scrims we had, we played much better. So you, during the break, you just like disconnect totally from the game? No, I mean, I went home. I think we all, so we all kind of made a rule that we should play like maybe one, like two weeks before we should mm -hmm. start playing solo queue and then we start screaming. So we started playing solo queue and all of that. But yeah, during the break, I don't think anyone really like did anything. We like, we still did, we, some of the people still had routines like going like to the exercise and then playing some solo queue and this stuff. But some people also went like vacation, you know, and someone, I went home to Sweden for like four days and then came home to, came back to Berlin to play some more league. So yeah, we had a bit of break. So that's probably the reason why we didn't play so good in the first days of scrims. Is it important for you to uh, be, be able to like uh cut off and really have a break from the game from time to time? So? I think it's pretty important because I think Especially after finishing a split, and if, if we manage to win it, I think it should be nice to take some time off and do some other stuff because it's very easy to get uh, burned out from playing this game like 24 7. And I think no one in the team wants that. And yeah, I think we work very hard. So I'm very happy with the way we work. And yeah, I think after some time of playing, like winning a final after all of that, then it's always nice to get like one week of break 
and just do something else, think about something else. You've been winning titles from some time, for some time now, uh, but sh do you ever feel like uh, pissed off with the game? Uh, it's a good question. I think, uh, yeah, in solo queue, I still get <laughs> very, I'm a guy who gets very tilted in solo queue. Yeah. That's something I also should improve on, but yeah, I get very easily tilted in solo queue and yeah, that's like the worst thing for me because yeah, when I lose solo key games, I get a bit mad. Yeah, that's I think thing. everyone does. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Never a good thing to to lose uh, <laughs> solo queues. Okay, nice one. The, um, a few days ago, uh, the LEC announced that they were implementing like pre-recorded draft. What do you think of this new measure? Yeah, I think I am personally not a big fan of it. I think a lot of people said the same, and it makes sense because yeah, it's just a weird change they did to probably save some more time uh, yeah. overall but yeah i don't like that we just go to a room with drafts like like alone like as uh, the five players and the coaches and then we go out and then we just wait for like 20 20 minutes because it just gets weird trying to make plans and all of this stuff and i think it's not good i think it's not the way you want to play the game like i like the way where we go on stage and then yeah we start drafting like I get excited from that, you know, knowing that oh, the fans would see me pick uh, Bellwet or something, you know, I like that, but that can't have happen anymore. So it's a bit sad. Yeah, there was a real interaction with the with the, the fans, like uh, you you tease them uh, with uh, with the yeah. gem, and they know you uh, you're picking another one. So there's not this in, this interaction. So that's yeah, exactly. I I thought this kind of this. Um, this change was uh, maybe a little bit better for you guys as a player um, to give you, I don't know, more time between the games. Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, what people could think as well. Like, there is some positive things with this stuff because, yeah, we can talk a lot. We can, like, people that are very, like, creative, we can, we can make, like, mm -hmm. very creative plans with all of this time. But, yeah, personally, I just, I don't really mind. I think it's also nice if you can just make a plan in, like, like in champs, like, you know, it's the same. The thing, the problem is that, for playoffs and probably for MSI and Worlds, it's not going to be like this. So it's yeah. going to be weird to just change to this and then change back. It's a bit unnecessary. Okay, so you're getting used to uh, a way of doing, but it won't be the same for international competitions. So... Yeah, that's probably. Thing. Okay, that's weird. And uh, I don't know, maybe um, do uh, do you feel like uh, it making you uh, it makes you lose like the um, the the mystery of the of of the game the incoming game or uh, that you're gonna plan an entire game uh, on ten champs that have been taken but you're planning everything and not just the draft yeah the, the, yeah that's like that's what happens we just talk about like the draw like we talk about the ten champions like or can they invade level one like for example they invaded this uh, this game and we talked about it. Mm -hmm. And then we were like, oh, maybe they can, maybe they can't. And then it's like in the head, but it just gets confusing because, yeah, yeah, it's not like in the moment. And I really like it more when things are like in the moment. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> to finish this interview, you're playing uh, next week, uh, Heretics. Uh, you're playing Fnatic, and uh, you're playing Giants. So maybe the worst opponent or the biggest one is Fnatic because there's always this uh, rivalry between you two guys. Yeah. How do you feel um, with uh, the, the incoming matches? I think it's going to be very exciting. I think Heretics today just won against Fnatic. So it's hype yeah. to play versus them. I always love playing versus Heretics because they have very like good and uh, uh, what do you say, like uh, like veteran players. Like they have Wunder, mm -hmm. they have Jankos, yeah. and I mean they have the all G2 squad. Like not perks anymore, but they still have like Wunder, Jankos, yeah. and Flakhead. Yeah. yeah. So it's very exciting to play against them always. And it's going to be the same with Fnatic. I think they're also very hype. They're playing very good right now. So both of the teams are going to be very hype. And then Giants, they're like fine. I think we shouldn't underestimate them because I think they played pretty good today. And yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Yag, for your time. And Thank well, you good luck for next week. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.